We all know that hip thrusts are a great way to build glutes and hamstrings, but you may not always have a barbell or machines to be able to do them like this. Today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to do hip thrusts with resistance bands and minimal equipment. All right, so the first way, the most basic way that requires only a resistance band and some kind of a bench or like an ottoman or coffee table or something at that level, all you need to do is grab a 41 inch loop style band. And I like to sit down and wrap it around. One end goes around one foot, the other end goes around the other foot and kind of center it right in the middle. And then what you're going to do is grab this band in like a U shape and then pull it up and over and sit it down kind of into your waist. And then it's gonna kind of catch in there and then you can adjust the front end so that it's not tearing your hair out of your legs or pulling on your skin or whatever. And then all you need to do is kind of stay keeping your knees at this 90 degree position, scoot yourself out away from that bench and then drop down, getting the middle of your back onto the bench, middle of the back. And then you wanna keep your feet underneath of your knees. You don't want it to be scooted too far out and you don't want them to be scooted too far back. You want them almost directly underneath of your knees. And then you're gonna get to that nice comfortable spot with your back. And then all you're doing is thrusting straight up and really squeezing those glutes. That's the big thing here. You wanna get that full glute extension. A lot of people will get like halfway up and like, oh, I'm already done. You wanna really drive through and get that full extension so that you'll feel it in these glutes and in your hamstrings as well. When you get full extension, that's when you'll really start to feel it in your hamstrings. And also trying to keep your chin a little bit tucked, not like so bad that it's straining, but you want it tucked just so it's nice and comfortable. And then you're gonna let it back down. <sighs> Exhaling, big squeeze on the way up, and then let it back down. And then to get out of this, you're gonna scoot yourself right back up that bench and walk with your feet like I did. And then all you need to do is unhook it just like that. As you get stronger in this exercise, you're obviously gonna want to, you're gonna need to increase that resistance. And you do that by grabbing a larger resistance band. And typically the heavier the band is, the wider this band will get. So before I had a purple band, that was my first set. And then I'm gonna jump up into this green band, which is the next biggest from Clinch Fitness. Same setup as before, you just loop it around. and then pull it up onto your knees, just like we did before. And obviously it's gonna get a little bit more difficult kind of as we go through these. And if I were gonna go heavier than this, I would probably just stack multiple bands onto myself rather than just grabbing a bigger band yet because it's gonna get even more difficult for me to pull this thing up. With multiple bands, you can grab kind of one at a time and then stack it up so you can get more resistance. All right, so this next one, it takes a resistance band, and if you have a pair of heavy dumbbells, this will work really well. You gotta make sure they're heavy enough so that the band gets pulled down to the floor and that the dumbbells won't slide around. And to hook them up, it's really easy. You got your dumbbells wide out apart, and then all you do is loop one end around each one of the dumbbells. So you got that end right around the handle. And then you just loop this end around the other end. And then I usually put it wide enough apart so that there's just a little bit of slack in the band and you'll have to play around with that and make sure that the, the dumbbells don't kind of roll around on you. And then to set it up, it's the same way as before. You just get underneath of this thing, stretch that band up, get it into your waist. Make sure your dumbbells don't roll around. And then you're ready to do reps. Same form as before, get your feet directly under your knees, get those hips down. Your upper back should be on the bench. And then you're just squeezing that up, big squeeze at the top. And then let it down nice and slow. And then when you're done, just slide yourself back up on the bench. And unhook that band. All right, so last variation here, I'm going to be using a squat rack with adjustable band pegs. And all you gotta do is grab your 41 inch band, get your band pegs set up like I have them here, facing out, stretch this right across the bottom. I know there's a lot of garage gym people out there that might have squat racks, or even if you have a 
hip thrust machine at your gym, a lot of the newer ones are coming with band pegs on them. And the reason for that is because the band resistance is different than a barbell because as you stretch that band, the more you stretch it, like in this position here, so I'll grab this here, jump into my rep. And now with the band, it's gonna be less resistance here at the bottom. And then as I push myself through and squeeze here, it's gonna be higher resistance at the top. So at that peak contraction of your glutes and hams, you're gonna be getting a lot more resistance. So it's gonna hit a lot different than a barbell. So I encourage you to try them this way they're also more comfortable because you have the band here that's riding on your pelvis and your hips versus a barbell with knurling. Even the barbell pads sometimes get uncomfortable. And you have a lot more control over this resistance curve than you would with free weights. So give these few variations a try, whether you're just gonna use the bands by themselves or something in more advanced with the dumbbells or the squat rack. Try them out, see which one you like the best. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. And if you have any questions or something just doesn't feel right, be sure to drop that in the comments below as well because we'll be happy to answer them for you. As always, be sure to smash that like button if you liked what you saw today or if you found this to be interesting to you. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more of our content and click that bell notification if you wanna get notified every time we drop a new video, which is at least once a week. Also, if you need any bands or accessories, head over to clenchfitness.com and we will be happy to hook you up.